to Mac at 97 here and so I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, an intro kind of similar to mine and kind of a spacey one kind of like that and yeah so here we go now what I use is live type and final cut express these two applications right there they're kind of made for each other using you can say alright so there's lots of different softwares but I use this one personally so we're gonna launch live type and you're gonna start out with something like this mm, have uh, your uh, canvas I can say right here your timeline right here and then just your editing part so what you're gonna start out by is a little flashing thing right here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in whatever you want right there for me I would put Mac at 97 it doesn't even have to be the name of your um, account or whatever, just whatever you want. So then you're going to start out looking at something like this. And you can move this around. And yeah, so that's basically one part of your timeline. Now what you're going to do, you're going to extend it just a little to about four seconds, I would say. Okay. Now, what you're going to do, you can uh, increase the size if you want. You can edit that. Let's see. Put it back to 80. And there you go. You can do the tracking. Put that back to 100. Then the leading. Doesn't. I really don't know what that is. But whatever. Put it back to 100. Then you got your style. You can edit the opacity. Make it deeper if you want. But I'll keep it at like, yeah, I'm gonna put it at about uh, 60, no, 75.6. You can increase the blur if you want, but I'm not gonna do that. The scale, well, we're not gonna do that. And the offset, not gonna do that either. And then the other offset. Okay. So then you got your effects, which we don't have any right now. Your timing. And your attributes. Alright, so what you're going to do. Is you're going to go to. Um, fonts. And you can scroll through these. Or you go to live fonts and go to pro series. And they have like these weird ones. Well, what you, well, you're not going to go there right now. You're going to go to fonts, and you're going to choose Bank Gothic, and press apply. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to textures, go to space, and click on any one of these that you want. Like, I guess I'm going to choose this one. And No, wait. You're going to go to nature. And well, it doesn't have to be any nature. It can be any one of these, but I guess I'm just gonna go to nature for now and press apply to mat. And as you can see, this is gonna change. And while you're playing it, the green inside of it is gonna move around like right here. As you can see, it's moving. Not a lot, but it will. You can barely see it, but it is moving. And yeah, okay. So once we're done with that, we're going to be done with that. So the, after that, you're going to go to space. And as you can see, we have lots of cool things right here. But you can choose any one. But I'm going to do solar wind, and you're going to do apply to new track. And as you can see, now we have two little bars right here, and the background has changed. Okay. Now, if you see, if I play it, the background is moving in, the letters inside the color are moving. So now the um, my letters aren't perfectly in the middle so I'm gonna put that down just a little. It's right about there. No, actually a little bit more up. It's right about there. It's not gonna be perfect but whatever. And now this is what you have. Pretty simple but pretty cool still. Then 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to effects and you're gonna my favorite is collector's edition but there's a lot more as you can see and you're gonna go to collector's edition and you're gonna put uh, I'm gonna go with blur blurry track now this is what it's gonna look like it's gonna come in like that after that's done what I would do is put in sign off this is what it's gonna look like okay so that's what it's gonna look like for now then after that what you're gonna do is press command T and you're gonna get a new one and you're gonna type in uh, what I would do is put cap lock on and press subscribe Whoops. I'm gonna highlight that whole thing command A and bring it to about the middle I'm not gonna be perfect like I said but it still works and you're gonna do the same thing with that you're gonna um, you can change the font if you want to whatever you want but I'm just gonna leave it normal for now you can change the texture it's like this one's pretty cool subscribe looks all electric electric -y. and now you can see we have like uh, another one right here that says subscribe now what you're gonna do you're gonna move this so it's perfectly aligned with it, but it's right after it. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna extend this to about seven seconds. And you're gonna move this so it's about there. So now is what you have. And you're gonna drag the solar wind, not drag him, but extend it so it's lined up with the end of the subscribe is. So now is what you're gonna have. Let me show you. Okay, so now it's just gonna repeat. And now if you're thinking that the video the it's playing it slow, it is. It's gonna be much faster when you actually export it you can say so now you're going to click subscribe and you're just going to click right on top of it so you're on that frame and you're going to go to effects and you can choose another effect and I'm going to do I'd say uh, hmm, I don't know I'm just going to look for a random cool one here yeah materializer so now this is going to look like And now what you're gonna do is another another um like a leaving one. So we're gonna go to effects again and uh we're gonna do like one that's leaving. Here I know. Let's find one that leaves. Alright, once you find one, I'm just going to do sign off again because I'm too lazy to go through the whole thing. Alright, so we're going to sign off again, but... Alright, so now what you're going to have is this. Hold on, let me see how much time we have left. Okay, hold on. Alright, so now this is what you're going to have. For the sake of this video, i got to make a part two. Alright, so then it repeats again. So that's what you're going to have so far. And in the next part, I'm going to show you how to add music to it, or sound. Alright.